I'm Ben Peters. Today I'm here with Barbara Romig of Desert Rats. So Barbara, tell us a little bit about yourself and what your role is here at Desert Rats. Well, I'm the test coordinator of Desert Rats, which means I organize the whole test and the logistics and make sure that we're operating as we plan. Cool. Uh, so give us, give us a little bit of background uh, on Desert Rats. About how long has it been going on and how long have you been involved? This is the 13th year of Desert Rats and I've been involved for eight years and this is my fifth year coordinating the test. Cool. So uh, what are some of the new things uh, that we're bringing to Desert Rats this year? Well, we have a couple of new things. Um, this year we have two rovers that we'll be testing simultaneously for a 14-day mission, and that includes mission operations support and also science backroom support. We also have this item here you can see is the habitat demonstration unit pressurized excursion module. So that's also another new item. Very, very cool. Uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about why we're doing dry runs uh, here at JSC. You know, why, why is it important to go through them here before we go out to the desert? It's important to do dry runs before the desert to make sure that we're ready for the full up test and make sure that all the systems operate the way they're supposed to and that the procedures are all in place. Okay, cool. So are you, are you running through and working out those procedures um, as we go along here uh, at JSC? Yes, so this week is our procedural dry run week. So we're running through all of our procedures and making sure that they're ready. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll have integrated dry runs with the actual crew that'll be in the rovers. And so they'll be running through actual simulated timelines that we'll be doing in the field. Very, very cool. Well, um, and I, well, we hope that all, that all goes really well. Um, so, but uh, to, to end here, uh, tell us a little bit about how, how you got to working at NASA and what your path uh, here was. Well, I studied mechanical engineering at Texas A&M University, and I have a bachelor's degree. And uh, I co-opt at NASA, which means I alternated semesters of school and working here. And that was a great opportunity that I highly recommend. Um, I got to try out different um, opportunities here at NASA before I got hired on and see what I liked and um, it worked out great. It was a great experience. Well, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, and good luck with the dry runs. I'm sure we'll see you again as the testing continues. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you.